What's up, ladies? It's your girl, Jilly J for real. And I used to be Dolce After Dark. Check out my book, Dolce After Dark, available everywhere online. So today we're going to talk about misery and the company it likes to keep. Um, in this situation, Dolce was talking to this chick. She was older, um, from St. Louis. Um, <laughs> miserable to tell. Um, Dolce thought she was cool. They hung out. She came to Dolce's house. Free game. Kick these folks out your house. Your house is your sanctuary, okay? See, you don't be knowing people until you know people. Check this out. So the girl's 40 years old. Um, the conversations are different. And that's where the intimidation came in at because she's 40 years old talking about busting checks with her 24-year-old boyfriend. Um, her daily activity consists of going to SunTrust Ballpark in the Battery um, where a couple restaurants are at to get drunk. But she does this every single day, even after having a blood transfusion. Yes, you heard right. The bitch just had a blood transfusion. Like, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> a very bad one. Do you know what it happens when you need a, a, a blood transfusion, sweetie? That means your organs are fucking dying. Okay? That means your liver is dying. Your kidneys are fucking dying. And you're still drinking. So in denial, she says things like, oh, girl, you know I don't drink no more. I just drink wine. <laughs> That's alcohol, sis. <laughs> That's alcohol, you're called a wino. That's what they call them. Anywho, Dolce, on the other hand, conversations are, I'm working on book number two. I'm so excited to start school on 31st. And since I've been studying psychology more, um, I noticed it really is a lot of mental health in the urban community that gets covered with drugs, alcohol, sex, and even food. Okay? So, long story short, all this happened because Dolce unfollowed the girl on Instagram. Like I said, the conversations were different. Dolce no longer wants to hang around street people or people that are street-minded. Young-minded at that. See, Dolce 40 here. <laughs> and she 24 here. That's why she got a little 24-year-old little boyfriend. Because ain't no grown-ass man dealing with no drunk-ass old lady who gets drunk and cusses her boyfriend out. She talking to the little boy all crazy. You my bitch. And da 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 like really got intimidated when Dolce said, damn, did he get out of, just get out of jail because the little boy just got out of prison? Like, y'all still doing that? I don't do that. He do it. I just made it. Uh, yeah, that means you're involved as well. Um, anywho, um, Dolce unfollow her on Instagram. Then she texts her this out the blue. Uh, you really got to watch yourself because these are nothing but signs of I've been didn't like you. I've been hated. I've been jealous of you. And at 40 years old, you're really kind of stuck in your ways, you know. Um, she just wrote me out the blue and said, bitches be miserable bums in real life with a pair of Fashion Nova jeans. Um, <laughs> check this out. One that comes before the destruction. They went out one day. She's like, oh, you look nice. Where you get your jeans from? Those are cute. Don't you say Fashion Nova. Now what's the problem? When you just like them? You understand where I'm going with this? People are real life haters. Like, you really got to watch yourself. Anywho, um, Dolce gave her no response, responding to her saying, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I literally didn't know where that came from. She said, I'm talking about you. But as you can see, she keeps texting me, and she's getting no response. Sis, she keeps texting me because she did not get the response she's looking for. Hurt people hurt people. <clears throat> I honestly used to be one of them. I used to lash out on Instagram to talk shit at people because I was hurt. I'll help a bitch. Uh, they'll turn around and call me broke. It's a competition in the urban community. That's why black people can't get nowhere. See, we're supposed to be friends. She didn't let me this competition. I'm broke how? What are you talking about? I never said anything about money. Every time we talk about money, only person that talk about money is you. So you feel like you got something to prove because this young lady, a.k.a. Dolce, got her head on straight and you 40 years old still stuck in the streets watch the conversations you have with like little-minded people excuse me because we wasn't like-minded at all and that's where the intimidation came in at this is the same shit that came to my house Ooh, ah g got a nice ass house oh my god where you get this from like yeah like but then again she'll say little slick shit so you gotta watch yourself them little slick jokes them little them little funny hating jokes, them really be signs of jealousy from the jump. 
I remember she said, oh, yeah, you got to pink my right. That's cool and all that. But I don't do that. I don't do all that. I don't do all that flashy stuff. Okay. I mean, you're 40 years old. <laughs> Don't say young flower, chill chick. Like I do what I do. This is the La Perla robe, Gucci earrings, Hermes scarf in the house with it, in the house with it. Like this is what I do. This is what I like. People like what they like. Just like you like getting drunk every day. <laughs> nah, I like my money to go on my businesses and my clothes. That's what I like, and I like to travel. What what is the problem? Once again, these little girls be in competition, and it ain't that deep. If we friends, let's just be friends. But the way that she dead ass just texts me out the blue is so sad. Um, honestly, everything she said about me, she's really talking about herself. She's definitely miserable, definitely bipolar, and um, might be schizophrenic. Uh, the schizophrenia is covered with the alcohol. That's why she lashes out like that. And she probably thinks it's funny the next day because I was drunk. But no, in real life, you really need help. Um, Cause at 40 years old, sweetie, that is so sad. And um, I just thank God I grew and learned. Once again, all this is old. Oh, thank God I grew out that shit. Nobody comes to your house. Nobody knows where I live. None of that. Cause imagine you responding to something like that, and she comes to your house. <laughs> okay, sis, keep these folks out your house. Your house is your sanctuary. Keep these street folks out your house. I don't care all that home girl shit. All that homeboy shit, that's going to be the death of a lot of y'all. Once again, everything is already written. Misery loves company. It ain't never your enemy. Keep an eye on your close friend. Everything is already written. Pick up a book, sis. The Bible, the best book I ever read. And once again, darkness does not like light, okay? She pissed off. I'm not replying to her. She mad as fuck. I'm not replying to her. <laughs> Sweetie. When you ain't got nothing going on. I don't mind. Devil workshop. <laughs> Don't you have to dark. Part one out now. Available everywhere. Part two on the way. Hey, sis. People see where you're going. They don't want you to see it. Watch yourself. Later. <laughs>